Hello and Assalamualaikum. Today, my friend and I would like to present about my group project entitled Lime Stabilization of Clay Mineral. Before we start, I will introduce myself and my group members. My name is Muhammad Amir Ashman bin Muhammad Khairi, together with No Suhaida bin Yusuf and Muhammad Ashraf bin Zainal would like to participate in this presentation. For your information, stabilization of site with the cooperation of lime is a widely technique used throughout the world. It is used in road construction, airport and railroad construction, for embankments in the soil exchange in unstable slopes, as well field for bridge abutment and retaining wall, and as canalizing to improve the soil beneath formation, slabs, and fall line piles. All types of clay mineral reacted and affected by lime. The addition of lime will produce highly alkaline environment and give rise to the slow solution of aluminum silicate. The strain developed is influenced by the quantity of semen dishes gel produced and accordingly on the amount of lime consumed. Among of the limes used, quick lime is the most common. Lime has higher available free lime content per unit mass, denser than hydrated lime, which is required less storage space, less dust, and generate heat to accelerate strain rate and large reduction in moisture. So. The aim of this study is to investigate advantages and disadvantages of lime to stabilize the clay soil and propose a potential alternative. While the objective of the study is to gain an understanding of the primary changes brought by the atmosphere of lime to the clay soil regarding its plastic limit, liquid limit, moisture content, granicity, and the compressive strength of the soil. That's all from me. I will pass to my friend to continue this presentation. Thank you to Amirul. Next, we will go to the literature review. In this part, we will discuss about the previous study that relate with our topic. Uh, we will we found the previous study uh, about the lime stabilization, and we will provide it in this project. First research is by Asma Mohamed and Darius Wanatowski. Uh, they they want to investigate the effect of lime stabilization on the strength and microstructure of clay. In their research, they use 5% of hydrated lime as addition in clay. Both type of clay, untreated and treated gallin clay, were subject to similar tests. The test is a table limit test, compaction test, unconfined strength test, and scanning electron micros microscope test were conducted. The next test is by Ibtihash Taha Jawad, Muhammad Raihan Taha, Zaid Hamid Majid, and Tanvir Ehan. This was an overview of previous study on lime, quick and hydrated with dry soil. Uh, the advantage of lime stabilization can increase in soil strength, increase fatigue strength, and increase the workability of soil. However, the disadvantage will decrease the plastic plasticity index and decrease swell potential and volume change. The next research is by F.G. Bell. Lime stabilization has an immediate effect on the properties of the soil as cation exchange begin to take place between the Metallic ion is associated with the surface of the clay particle and the calcium ion of lime. It can it can enhance many of the engineering properties of the soil and improve the construction material. The last research is by Armin Robachan and Wehzat Kalantari. Uh, they use lime and waste stone powder as soil stabilization. 
The test that uh, do is attainable limit test, standard proto compression test, unconfined compress compressive strength test, and California bearing ratio test. The result of this experimental investigation have shown that positive effect are obtained by add lime and waste stone powder into clay soil. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Suhaida bint Yusof. I will continue this presentation with methodology section. For methodology, there is four phase for lime stabilization method, which is delivery, subgrade stabilization, base stabilization, lime for drying and modification. In delivery phase, there are two type of lime that can be used, which is dry lime and slurry. Dry lime is dry quick lime or hydrated lime, usually transferred using self-unloading truck to the construction site. Slurry is made from quick lime or hydrated lime and mix it with water. Next phase is subgrade or sub-base stabilization. There are seven steps for this phase which is scarification and initial pulverization, lime spreading, pre preliminary mixing and watering, mellowing pre period, final mixing and pulverization, compaction and final curing. Firstly, scarification and initial pulverization. The subgrade have been pulverized into fine particle. It is important to remove non-soil material larger than 3 inches such as stumps and roots. Secondly, lime spreading, which are quick lime and slurry. Both this lime has its own way to be spread. Quick lime normally being distributed pneumatically or mechanically. For slurry, it can be applied by distributor truck. Thirdly, preliminary mixing and watering. This step required for us to spread the lime through throughout the soil and mix it with water to initiate the chemical reaction for stabilization. The fourth step is mellowing period. In this step, chemical reaction in lime soil mixture will change material. Usually, mellowing period typically 1 to 7 days, followed by final mixing and pulverization. Mixing and pulverization should continue until 100%. After final mixing, compaction should begin immediately using steel wheel roller. Lastly, final curing begin. The compacted subgrade allow to harden. The next phase is base stabilization. Start with full depth reclamation and followed by aggregate base course central mixing. The construction procedures are similar to subgrade which are scarification and pulverization, lime spreading, mixing and watering, curing and compaction. Followed by the aggregate base course, some steps like mixing, mixing, placing material, compaction and curing was applied. Last but not least, lime for drying and modification. It divided into base material and subgrade material. After all these four phases being completed, surely we will get a great clay material treated with lime. And it's good for its stabilization. Thank you to Suhaida. Next, we will go to the result and discussion. The previous study that relate with lime stabilization is being done by Asmah Mohamed and Darius Wanatowski. The title of this research is Effect of Lime Stabilization on the Strength and Microstructure of Clay. The table below show the several laboratory tests that conduct with it result. From the result that obtained, it can, con it can conclude that the hydrated lime effectively improves the strength, plasticity and compaction properties of clay soil. The first test is a table limit test. Uh, with addition 5% of lime, there is a reduction in the plasticity index and increased liquid limit and plastic limit. The increase is more evident in the plastic limit, which increased from 
33.3% to 56.9%. The liquid limit is increased by 20.6% with addition, addition of lime. The second test is proctor compaction test. The addition of lime time to tend to increase the optimum moisture content and reduce the maximum dry density. The optimum moisture content of the untreated clay changed from 29.9% to 33.3% with addition of 5% of lime. Next, the maximum dry density, the maximum dry density decreased from 1,422 kg per meter cube to 1,382 kg per meter cube. The third test is Unconfined Compression Strength Test UCS. Uh, in, this, in this research, uh, they use 4 period of curing time, which is 0, 7, 14, 14 and 20x day. And First, Gaulin clay with 0% of clay, their UCS is 183 kPa. Uh, but, uh, Gaulin clay with 5% of lime for 0 curing time is 206.2 kPa, 7 day curing time, 224.39 kPa, and for 14 day curing time is 244.67 kPa and 26, 20x day curing time is 390.1 kPa The last test is scanning electron microscope test the sample untreated and treated clay are dry for this test. The factory surface of the sample are cooled with gold before scanning. And the result is for the first picture is zero, 0 day curing time. The second picture is for 7 day curing time. The third picture is 14 day curing time. And the last picture is for 20 X day curing time. In a nutshell, lime is an excellent replacement for soil stabilizing material for highly active soil which undergo through frequent expansion and shrinkage. In fact, lime as admission in stabilization in order to improve clay soils in workability and long-term durability. Some recommendations in order to improve the lime stabilization of clay mineral are with exploring the influence on the sheer strength of lime stabilization of clay soil so that the indication shown by change of plasticity may be confirmed. Thank you.